Hey guys, so this video is going to be a getting to know me challenge and it consists of 10 questions. I was tagged by Lekulsan. Um, I'm so sorry if I keep butchering your name. I'm trying to say it with a British accent, hoping that that will help me, but I don't know. So Leanne tagged me in this video and I am going to tag a few other people at the end of this one. So be on the lookout, you might be tagged. So the first question is actually three questions, but who are you, how old are you, and where are you from? So my name's Holly, I'm 27, and I'm from Louisiana, obviously in the United States. I am uh, from the South, and my accent is not that strong because I've been away from home for so long, but when I post a vlog in Louisiana, I'm pretty sure you're going to hear my accent and it's probably going to be terrible. Um, I'm just going to apologize for that in advance. So I am sorry for that. Um, number two, name a musical guilty pleasure. Okay, so a guilty pleasure for music. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to sound kind of weird, so bear with me. But there's a band called Dream Theater. And they have an album where each song on the album tells a story. If you play the album out of order, it makes no sense whatsoever. So you have to listen to it from start to end. And it's an amazing album. I love it. I'm so in love with it. I've been, let's see, I've had it since at least like 2007. And I still listen to that album. Um, I just like to put it on and really, really, this is not your video. This is mine. Hmm. But yeah, the album tells a story and I've had it for a long time and I still listen to it. So I think it was like 2007 I've had this album. I love listening to it while I travel because it makes the time go by so fast. Um, so any album that actually like tells a story, like in sequence to the tracks, uh, is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. I do love any type of musical like opera, uh, Phantom of the Opera, or Moulin Rouge, for instance, uh, which is my favorite. So yeah. Uh, number three is why do you use the name you use on YouTube? So the name actually came from, well, Holly is my name. Uh, so it's kind of play on words, but it actually originated from a girl that I was with in beauty school. And she said that I looked glamorous and just kind of came up with the name Hollywood. So yeah, that's kind of where it originated from, which was a long time ago, may I add. But um, I thought, hey, little play on words, thought it was a good idea. So yeah, that's where it came from. Number four is a quote you live your life on. Okay, so this is gonna sound probably extremely weird. Um, and I am no, I am by no means like a religious nut or anything like that, but I'm gonna say, I don't know if it could be considered a quote, but I'm gonna say the serenity prayer I have a lot of anxiety and for me like that quote if you can call it that uh, kind of symbolizes like let it go like if you can't control it let it go if you can control it do it fix it you know so for me um, that is probably how I live my life by I mean sometimes you just gotta let it go and, and <laughs> you know that's a lot easier said than done, but um, yeah, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Describe your perfect date slash day out. So for me, I'm gonna say a perfect day out, and I am, I'm gonna say, uh, which I've already said this before, but anything that involves like my friends and family. So as long as we're together, I don't care what we're doing. But ideally, I think it would be so awesome to get all my friends and family together and go on this huge cruise for like seven days 
and we won't have to do anything but have fun and I would be so down for that. So for me, uh, yeah, any anything with friends and family, I am happy with. Number six is have you got any phobias? Um, <laughs> let's see, I have a fear of flying, which is terrifying because I'm gonna fly here in a couple of days. I get crazy when I have to fly. Actually, whenever me and my husband got orders to Okinawa, and I found out that it was a 13 hour flight. I freaked out and didn't want to come. And my husband was pretty sure I was going to divorce him right there in the airport. Um, obviously, I put that aside and came, thank goodness. <laughs> but um, yeah, I definitely have a huge fear of flying. Like I freak out and I just kind of give it to God. I have to pray about it. And if it's my time, it's my time. And that's how I have to think about it because I'm that scared of flying. I know it's ridiculous. I don't even know how I got here in the first place. Um, so number seven is biggest turnoff. So for me, I'm going to say the biggest turnoff would actually not be something physical. It would be a uh, part of a personality. So for me, I'm going to say that something that is a big turnoff is someone who's manipulative. I feel like if you're manipulative, you're probably a liar. You're probably just not a good person <laughs> in general. Um, so yeah, if you're manipulative, I don't have anything to do with you. So that's gonna be a turn off for me. Number eight, name a movie you could watch forever. So I'm a huge movie fan. So this is extremely difficult for me to come up with anything in particular. I just can't do it. Um, I'm gonna say my favorite genre is horror. So with that being said, I'm gonna say the movie Ghost Ship. Uh, it's a horror movie, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. The twist is awesome. There's also a movie called 13 Ghosts. Same thing, horror movie, awesome twist. Absolutely amazing movie. Uh, but something kind of outside of the horror genre, I'm gonna say Moulin Rouge, kind of going back to that. The movie is awesome. I love the music, I love the cast. I've watched that movie a thousand times and I actually have, there was a song on the soundtrack that I actually walked down the aisle to at my wedding. So that movie definitely holds a special place in my heart. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go with that one. Number 10, looks or personality and why? Okay, well obviously looks are important, but uh, I mean, you have to you have to feel attracted to that person. I mean, that's part of being in a relationship. But I'm gonna say personality. Kind of going back to my biggest turnoff. If you're manipulative, I don't want to have anything to do with you. So, um, I would say you know if you're funny, that's definitely a plus. So, if you're funny and you know when to be serious, <laughs> even better. I got lucky with my husband because he is amazing and he is so awesome to me and he is a wonderful supporter of everything that I do, whether it be a YouTube channel or going randomly out hiking to the middle of nowhere or all the other crazy ideas I make him come up with, um, or that I come up with to make him do, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, for me, I'm going to say personality trumps looks. but. Sometimes you get lucky and you get both. So, yeah. So those are just 10 random kind of questions to get to know me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if there's some kind of strange facts about you. Also, I'm going to tag a few people in a little slide after this video. Um, I am so curious what you guys have to say on your videos. And I'm definitely going to be waiting for them. So hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching.